guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I kind of wanted to do another hair video because I kind of had fun with the last one. So I figured today I would show you guys how I got my hair to finally grow out long and fast because I used to have um, hair that would not grow, um, which is annoying, but I've gotten it to grow so much recently. So I'm going to share all my tips and tricks with you guys today. Okay, so tip number one is don't wash your hair every day. Um, I know it sounds a little bit gross, but it's not, trust me. So find yourself a trusty, good, dry shampoo. Um, my favorite is Batiste, and it works absolutely amazing for my hair. Um, I don't really have any right now, or else I would show you guys which one I normally use. Um, right now I'm using a Tresemme dry shampoo, which isn't really my favorite, but it does add a little bit of volume to my hair, so that's cool. But anyways, don't wash your hair every day. So I typically wash my hair once, maybe twice a week. I try to only do once a week. And then every other day I use either dry shampoo um, if I have to. Because I will say that dry shampoo can make your scalp feel weird if you're putting too much on it like every single day. Because I had that happen to me. So just be sparingly with your dry shampoo and it'll work. And I know a lot of people always say, I can't wash my hair only once a week. It's so greasy. Um, yeah, my hair was greasy too. You have to train your hair. And yes, I said train your hair. So what I mean by that is when you start the process of only washing your hair once a week, yes, it will be greasy because your hair is used to always having it washed. And so it's producing all these oils because you're always washing it and washing away the oils that are actually good for your hair. Um, but once you train your hair to only wash it once a week, it'll slowly start producing less oils for your hair and it'll be more like tamed. So yeah, try that out, give it a whirl, see how it works. So the second tip, while we're on talking about the oils in your hair, um, the second thing I want to say is brush your hair, but don't overbrush it. So what I mean by that is you want to brush your hair probably once a day. And I would just say that to get the oils all throughout your hair. So if you're not really brushing your hair, I know for people like me who have kind of like curly wavy hair, it'll just make it really frizzy. But you do want to brush your hair because like the oils get trapped in your scalp and they really are healthy oils because they keep your hair moisturized and like prevent it from splitting. But if you don't brush your hair, the oils are going to only sit at the scalp of your head and it's going to make it look greasy. So if you just brush your hair, Every now and again, it'll put the oils all throughout your hair, make it a little bit more healthy, and it'll keep it from like bunching up all at the top. You all know? right, so step number three, um, hair mask. That one is huge, okay? Huge. So hair masks are super important for your hair. I used to never do any type of hair masks on my hair and it used to stay dry and breaking and it literally used to feel like some pine straw off the head, okay? So it was pretty annoying. Um, I found that at home hair mask end up working best for my hair because I do have pretty dry hair like on the bottom like it feels dry but the top does get pretty oily like I've said so the, typically the hair mask that I do is just like at home hair mask and I'm usually just mix together one egg the whole egg and then I do just like a little bit of olive oil nothing's really like an exact measurement I just kind of pour some stuff in a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of apple cider vinegar because that helps with my dandruff. And then I typically put in a little bit more oils like, um, I can't think of any off the top of my head, like coconut oil or tea tree oil. Those are really good too. Um, and then I put in some like aloe vera into my hair. Um, just anything that can keep it moisturized. Mayonnaise is really good too. I know that's weird. All of these smell so bad going onto your hair and every time I do this hair mask, my boyfriend is like, let me stay away. It smells so bad. But I'm telling you, if you can get over the smell and just let it sit on your hair for like 30 minutes to an hour, you will notice a huge difference right away. Like the very first time I did this, I was like, I am never doing this again. This freaking stinks. But then after I got out of the shower and my hair started to dry, I was like, wait, did that just do something? Like my hair feels great. So yeah, I would definitely recommend doing those. Um, I try to do mine um, maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. I know I only wash my hair like once a week, but if I do wash my hair like twice a week, then I will try to do it once a week. Wow, I just said week a lot. But yeah, hair masks are huge because they keep your hair moisturized. But yeah, all right, so another huge step is haircuts, which I know is kind of weird. 
to talk about when you're talking about like growing out your hair so yeah let's talk about that when i first started the process of growing out my hair i was under the impression that i had to get like frequent haircuts to like get off the dead ends and like all that stuff but that wasn't actually true because i was cutting my hair probably like once every two months or so and i was realizing my hair was just staying the same length because i was always cutting it so now i only cut my hair maybe about an inch or two off every six months or so and i've realized it really does help grow my hair because when i'm doing all these hair masks and i'm brushing all the oils through and i'm not washing it as much my hair is just it doesn't split as much i don't need the haircut like i did before so it kind of goes like hand in hand if you take care of your hair better you won't have as many split ends you won't need to cut off all the dead ends as much but yeah that was a huge one because even though I don't know i just always thought that was a big thing okay so another big thing when you're trying to grow out your hair is try to keep it down and like um relaxed i guess you could say as much as possible so what i mean by that is if you are going to put your hair up try to do it in different spots in like different ways each time because if you're constantly like let's say putting a bun on the top of your head in the same position every day it's gonna um constantly break those hairs in that spot and you'll notice that your hair won't really grow out because it's constantly breaking from having it tied up in like the same spot every time so the way that I kind of work around that is one day I'll have like a bun on the top of my head and then like the next day I'll do like a low little ponytail down here and then the next day I'll have like pigtails, you know. If I do have my hair up, it's in different spots. It's not directly being pulled on the exact same spot every single day. So it'll kind of keep it a little bit healthier and help it grow better. With that being said, I also braid my hair a good bit because it's just a way to like keep it all like together without having to... Um, have the ties like pull on it because since my hair is long I'll just kind of braid it down and then just leave it like I won't ever actually put like a little tie on the bottom It'll just kind of stay So that's just a way to like keep my hair kind of all together But not really pulled up with a hair tie and then another thing I want to say about the hair ties is Be careful which hair tie that you're actually using because if you're just using like the regular old dandy hair ties They actually do break and pull your hair so much and then you'll have like the wavy crease when you go to like pull your ponytail out because it's literally been like pulling on your hair so hard um you want to make sure you're using something that's really soft and gentle on your hair so it's not really breaking it so i would suggest things like scrunchies plus i love scrunchies because they're super cute so yeah that's my tip on that all right guys thanks so much for watching this video today that's all my tips and tricks about how i grew out my hair all along and i hope you guys will stay around for the next video bye